Life is this. I like this. I am somebody. I am somebody. I can change the world. I can change the world. The major mistake that everybody makes is waiting. Waiting to fucking feel like it. Waiting for somebody to pick you. Waiting for the right time. Waiting for you to feel motivated. It's not coming. For the big stuff, for the hard stuff, it requires a push, always has, always will. Nobody is coming to save your ass. It is up to you. And so if you want to change anything about your life, stop sitting around and wasting your goddamn life and start pushing yourself. Whether it's a fast or it is starting a business or it is changing how you talk to your spouse or it's changing the kind of parent that you are, you got one life. As soon as you open up your eyes, understand that you enter into consciousness. It is at that moment that your creativity is at its most powerful. At that moment, you have an opportunity to steer your thoughts and your emotions in the direction that you want them to go. In other words, you can choose to seize the day or you could let the day seize you. It's time to stay focused. It's time to decide, fuck clubs, fuck partying, fuck trying to fit in and socialize, rub elbows with everybody so people can stop calling you weird. Why are you so antisocial? Because I'm trying to get it. Why are you staying on the basketball court so much? Because I'm trying to get it. Why are you out there practicing in the hot sun when ain't nobody else out there? Because I'm trying to get it. Why are you not clubbing like every time I text you and invite you to go do something fun and cool, you always studying? Because I'm trying to get it. Let me tell you something, homie. These women ain't going nowhere. These clubs, these parties, all this shit ain't going nowhere. The more weird you are is a reflection of how committed you are to focusing on your shit, molding and shaping and developing your ideas and your craft so that when it's time for you to make your rounds, you're going to fly. I think we can all agree that today, too many people wake up in the morning and as soon as they open up their eyes, the first thing they focus on is the grueling day that they had the day before. All the things that didn't turn out the way they wanted it to go. Then they start thinking about the grueling day that lies ahead of them, the traffic jam that they have to be into. And then they can't understand why, when they're going into work, their energy level is down here. And with what you're trying to accomplish, with the responsibility that you have, it has to be up here. It has to be up here. So what I'm asking you to do, as soon as you open up your eyes, before you take the covers off, before you plant your feet on the floor, is to think of something or someone that you are totally grateful for in your life. I don't care who it is, and I don't care what it is. Maybe it's the person lying next to you, maybe you're thinking of your children, the dog that's lying on the side of the bed, the cat that's laying on the other side of the bed, maybe you're listening to the birds outside the window in your house, maybe you're thinking of your home, maybe it's a particular goal that you achieved or someone that you helped a couple of days before. Folks, it doesn't matter what it is or who it is. Just feel it with your heart and soul and keep building from there. I wrote myself a check for $10 million for acting services rendered, and I gave myself uh, five years, or three years, maybe. And, uh, and uh, I dated it Thanksgiving 1995. And I put it in my wallet, and I kept it there, and it deteriorated and deteriorated and stuff. And, uh, and uh, but then, just before Thanksgiving 1995, I found out that I was going to make $10 million on, I think it was Dumb and Dumber. Maybe. When you truly have a vision for your future that inspires you, you're going to jump up out of bed in the morning and feel great about going at life versus being miserable and going to a job you hate or living a life that doesn't empower you and just, you know, every day moving through just almost like an automaton, not really, you know, having the zest and the great, the greatness of life. I think that the, the number one thing is you have to have a very clear vision, a very clear goal of where you want to go, because only then you will get there. Uh, you can have the best airplane, 
on the best ship in the world, but if the captain doesn't know where to go, he will just drift around. If the pilot doesn't know where to go, he will just drift around with his plane. So it's, I think the key thing is that we know where we're going and that you're very passionate about that. You, you see it always in front of you, the goal. And the other thing that's important is, is that you got to shoot for the top. You got to go and really have big goals and think big because then you're going to get big. Then you're going to go and achieve big things. That is the most important thing. You know, we don't achieve big things by accident. Make a choice, right? You just decide what it's going to be, who you're going to be, how you're going to do it. Just decide. And then from that point, the universe is going to get out your way. It's, like, it's water. It wants, to, it wants to move and go around stuff, you know. Write down everything you want to do. And I don't mean crazy shit, like, I'm going to be the Prince of Brunei, I'm going to have a base in the moon. Shut up. This is what I want you to do. Write, write down what you would like to fix about your life. And then just, if you're 30 pounds overweight, you want to lose 30 pounds? Do it the right way. Go st start eating vegetables, monitor your calories, write down what you eat, exercise every day, force yourself to do it. Say, you're the general. The brain is the general, the troops are the body. Get up and you do it. And then you get to write it down. And if you don't write it down, you don't eat. You don't jerk <laughs> off, you don't shower. Write that shit down so you do it. Just do it. Make yourself do it. And if you do that, if you write shit down and do that, you can change who the fuck you are. I just believe that. I, I believe that I can create whatever I want to create. If I can put, put my head on it right, study it, learn the patterns, I feel very strongly that we are who we choose to be. So, I want to encourage you right now, don't give in, go for it, don't give up, don't throw in the towel, and even if your back is up against the wall, even if you are on the rope and you are receiving a rope for dope financially, listen, you got to fight back. You don't get in life what you want, you get what you fight for. And when you decide that my future, my health, my marriage, my freedom, my happiness, my joy, my peace, my children is worth fighting for, you are securing your breakthrough. All right, listen and listen well because no truer words are ever gonna be fucking spoken. You can do anything you want without limitation, whatever it is that you decide you want to make come true in your life, you can do that. It is going to take an inhuman amount of work. You're going to have to be prepared to break yourself in half. You are going to have to learn more than anyone has ever learned. You're going to have to push yourself harder than anyone has ever asked you to push yourself before. You're going to go way beyond your breaking point. You're going to run until you vomit. You're going to study until you fall asleep. You're going to push and push and push. And then you're going to push some fucking more. And when you hit the limit, you're going to push again beyond that. You're going to force yourself into an adaptation response. And why? Because as Malcolm X said, the future belongs to those who prepare for it today. So if you don't put the work in today, if you don't do the unending, back-breaking work of developing yourself into something greater, the world is gonna pass you by. The people that are going to own it are gonna be the ones that did that work. And the one promise that I can make you right now is that somebody, somebody out there is outworking you. Somebody right now is doing the things that I'm saying. Somebody right now is doing the work of failing and getting up and getting better and pushing themselves and triggering that glorious adaptation response that makes humans the apex predator. Someone right now, they're putting in that work. And if you don't, the future is gonna belong to them. And as Martin Luther King Jr. said, if you can't fly, then run. If you can't run, then walk. If you can't walk, then crawl. But whatever you do, you have to keep moving forward. It's not okay to make excuses. It's not gonna slow people down. It's not okay to ask the world to stop so that you can step out front. It's not okay to expect little of yourself and demand great rewards. The only thing that's okay 
is to be in line with the way that the world really works. And if you want to be great, you've got to become capable of greatness. You've got to develop your skill set. You've got to take what you have now. And if that's crawling, then fucking crawl. But you drag yourself ever forward to a vision of yourself that is so clear and so specific that nothing could knock you off your path. Because you, my friend, know exactly where you're going. You're willing to pay whatever price it takes to get there. And no matter what anybody says, no matter how many fucking hecklers come for you, no matter how many people try to throw dirt on you, try to stop you, try to knock you down, no matter how many fucking people come for you at night while you sleep, you will rise and you will keep pushing forward and you will get better every day. And no matter how many times people chop at you, knock you down, knock you off the path, you will get back on. You will crawl till you can walk, you will walk till you run, and then you will run until you fly. And that, my friends, is the only path forward. So if you want a fucking future that makes you happy, if you want a world that you're excited about, get your ass out there and earn it. I'm not able to change your life, but you certainly are. And I have found that it's ideas that literally change everything in our life. In life, you should only ever be doing one of two things. And that is figuring out what you're most passionate about, like finding your dreams in life. And then two, realizing those passions, realizing those dreams. And the first one is much harder than the second one. If you know what you want to do, no big deal. You just commit your entire life to doing it and you'll either get really close or you'll die trying. So what I would challenge this young man or, or, or young woman to do is you have to look inside of yourself and see what you really want. What, what are you passionate about? We use these words and these little phrases of only the strong survive and all this other crap. They're all just fucking words. I get so tired of hearing people just talking like right now. Someone may think Goggins is just talking. <laughs> you don't know me. So when I speak, I speak from passion. I speak from experience. I, I, I speak from suffering. I have to tell this young man and woman that the only way I believe, and this is just my experience in life, the only way you're ever going to get to the other side of this journey is you have got to suffer to grow. To grow, you must suffer. You can become the kind of person that is so in tune with the values that you have and what you actually want that when feelings rise up you can choose to act however you want despite them even if you're tired you can still go to the gym even if you're annoyed with your spouse you can still speak in a manner that's loving even if you don't feel like doing that hard work you can still push yourself to do it your feelings aren't a choice your behavior and your thoughts are always a choice Several people live to be 100 years old, and they have great lives, and they have great kids, the kids go to college and all sorts of stuff. But somewhere in their life, there was a point where they had a decision to make. They can go left or right on this path. Left was the easy route. Right was the hard route. A lot of people take the easy route. And they had a good life that way, but the better life was going to the right side. And you may have 20 years of pain and suffering to get past it, but a lot of us die never truly starting our journey. And I would tell this young person, you gotta start your journey. It may suck, but it will. It will come out the other side when you're coasting. Many people are suffering from battle fatigue. They've been standing a long time, trying to break the addiction, believing for the promotion, praying for that family member, but hasn't happened yet. They never dreamed they'd still be single, still be dealing with the illness, still be trying to get the loan. Now they're tired. Let me encourage you, your time is coming. Your due season is on the way. Don't let time talk you out of it. Don't let discouragement cause you to give up. Don't let negative thoughts convince you to settle where you are. You were born to succeed, to win, to conquer all difficulties and have all your faculties fully developed. The only thing in life that stands between you and 
everything you've ever wanted to do is doing it. All that stood between me and everything I've ever wanted to do in life was doing it. You have to trust your own voice, your own ideas, your honesty, your vulnerability, and through this you will find your way. You do not have to be fearless. Just don't let fear stop you. Live like this as best you can, and I guarantee you will look back on a life well lived. You are capable of greatness in your profession, and more importantly, in your quality of self. Stay hungry. Stay young at heart. Take those risks. You are going to change the world around you in big ways and in small. If we want to go somewhere, you got to do it. One of the great secrets in life to becoming successful, whether it's in a business, whether it's working with someone or for someone or in your own personal life, is be prepared in life for a lot of rejection. Because if you're prepared for a lot of rejection, it comes, you don't get turned off, you don't get disappointed, like, well, I'm not going to do this anymore, no one thinks it's a good idea. We need trust, right? We need trust. When we're surrounded by people who believe what we believe and trust starts to emerge, when we trust them and they trust us, we're more willing to take risks. We're more willing to experiment, which requires failure. We're more willing to explore and go somewhere that no one has ever gone before with the confidence that if we fail, if we trip over, if we turn our backs, that those within our community, those who we trust and who trust us, will look after us while we're gone, will pick us up when we fall over, will help us when we're hurt. Our very survival depends on it. Courage, someone who has, is, 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 has, the, has the courage no matter what to um, believe in something wholeheartedly and follow that with faith and courage to just go and, and if I was able to do it, you can too, you know, and you, but you need to start making that choice. You need to make that choice right now for yourself. There are people who have lost their arms, lost their sight. There have been people that have been through the most horrific experiences in life and they found a way to still be happy because they've made the decision that life is too short to suffer. So many of you are waiting to be picked by who? Are you making the most of your life? And the answer is yes, if you pay attention to what you do in five second windows. And so all you need to know to change anything is A, you're never gonna feel like it. You're never gonna feel ready to start that business. You're never gonna feel ready to have that hard conversation. You're never gonna feel like getting out of bed. You're never gonna feel like it's a good idea to apply for that promotion. We're designed to stay comfortable and safe. So if you know that you're A, never gonna feel like it, and B, that no one's coming, it's up to you. You're not a kid anymore. I have some bad habits. All my habits are not great, so if you've got some bad habits, don't feel bad. So does your next door neighbor. So does your mentor, your coach. So does your mother and father if they're alive. So does everyone. And the trick of life is to replace a bad habit with a good habit. Make up your mind you're going to do it every day, every day, every day. Until you don't have to think about it and then you'll automatically do it. I guarantee you this idea will change your life. Think about it all day because that is definitely an idea that will give you results that will stick. No matter who you are, no matter where you are in life, you can take the lid off of your job. If you're wondering if you still have the lid on in your life, here are some clues that's going to let you know that the lid is still on. If you're not excited about waking up in the morning, if you're sitting around bored out of your mind, if you got time to do everything anybody asks you to do, you probably got the lid on. If when you tell your dreams to all your friends, it makes sense to them, you got your lid on, man. Your dreams should be, should not make sense to everybody. You gotta say something that make people go, how you gonna do that? That's when you got the lid off. And if I were you, I'd do that. I'd take the lid off. It's not always going to be easy. 
There are going to be challenges. There's still going to be curveballs thrown at me. But I, I, I can't become uh, introverted. I, I, I have to continue to get outside myself because when you're uncomfortable, that's the only way you're going to grow. Right. So the only way I became successful was going towards the truth. As painful and as brutal as it is, it changed me. It, it allowed me to become, in my own right, who I am today. You face your fears, you become the person you want to be. You run from your fears, you're not living. You're alive, but you're not thinking the freedom. You're not running the day, the day's running you. You always be the fucking servant, not the master, guys. We have the ability to go in such a space. If you're willing to suffer, and I mean suffer, your brain and your body, once connected together, can do anything. We all fall down in life, guys. The question is, who gets back up? Again, it's not the potential of the individual. It's not the genetics. It's the perseverance. The never say die attitude. If you constantly keep throwing shit against the wall, eventually something will stick, guys. Never give in to what you want. I am where I am, and only I can change it. You're still here, and you get another chance this day to do better and be better. Another chance to become more of who you were created and what you were created to fulfill. Everyone in the world is capable of living outside the role or beyond the roles that they place themselves in, no matter what it is. You're not just a dad. You're not just a banker. You're not just a brother or a son or a convict. It doesn't matter. Like, everyone is bigger, much bigger, infinitely bigger than the roles they place themselves in and is capable of reaching potential greater than anything they could imagine. the life you desire. It's right there in front of you. But in order to achieve it, you must first see it, then believe it, and then you must graciously ask and train your brain to help you execute your vision. So when you start to focus and you delete distraction from your life and you start to get seriously invested in doing one thing staggeringly well and you practice that one thing over and over, a term to think about is mundanity. You do one simple, seemingly insignificant thing every day around your main skill, and it's very mundane, but small daily improvements over time lead to world-class results. Well, here's what happens in your brain. You start to isolate a single neurocircuit around that skill, and that starts to trigger a certain type of brain cell called an oligodendrocyte, which then releases myelin. Myelin is a fatty tissue that starts to wrap around that cell single neuro circuit related to that main skill you've been practicing and when myelin starts to wrap around the brain circuit what happens is you have accelerated learning times you can see more quickly heightened perception and you'll learn more quickly and that is really the quote-unquote secret of the great producers it's not a result of some natural gift but their daily practice, their relentlessness, and their grit, their work ethic, and their singular focus and sacrifice.
life is built not by revolution. A great life is built by evolution. Small and steady wins the race. What you do every day is far more important than what you do once every decade. I want you to really think about that idea. What you do every day is simply your life in miniature. And as you live every single day, so you're crafting your life. What you do over the next hours is really building your future. And if you can just get every single pocket of 24 hours right as best as we humanly can, the rest of our life is going to take care of itself. So small wins matter. The scripture says we will eat the fruit of our words. You are planting seeds when you talk. At some point, you're going to eat that fruit. My challenge is make sure you're planting the right kind of seeds. If you want apples, you have to sow apple seeds. If you want oranges, you can't plant cactus seeds, poison ivy seeds, mushroom seeds. You're going to reap fruit from the exact seeds that you've been sowing. In other words, you can't talk negative and expect to live a positive life. You can't talk defeat and expect to have victory. You can't talk lack, not enough, can't afford it, never get ahead, and expect to have abundance. If you have a poor mouth, you're going to have a poor life. If you don't like what you're seeing, start sowing some different seeds. We may not realize it, but we're always feeding ourselves. What we watch, listen to, the people we're around, the thoughts we're dwelling on, that's feeding our inner man. If you go to lunch with people that talk bad about the boss, make fun of a coworker, put down a friend, they're feeding you gossip, feeding you jealousy, feeding you disrespect. Here's the key. Whatever you feed is going to grow. You may not like what they're feeding you. You're a nice person. But if you continue to hang around them, before long, you'll be gossiping. You'll be critical. You'll be disrespectful. Why? Because you kept feeding the wrong things. If you're always feeding negative thoughts, thinking, I'll never get well, I'll never meet the right person, you're feeding doubt, feeding mediocrity, feeding fear. If you know exactly what you want to be, you need to spend as much time with people that are actually that already. a fear of failure or a fear of comparison or a fear of judgment stop you from doing what's going to make you great you cannot succeed without this risk of failure you cannot have a voice without the risk of criticism and you cannot love without the risk of loss you must go out and you must take these risks You don't have the time to waste time because time doesn't wait till you discover your purpose. If you don't know why you was born, time is still moving. And if you discover your purpose at 90 years old, it's too late. You don't know how young you are. <laughs> what if you die in two years? You're pretty old right now. You got two years left. And if you're 50 years old and you're feeling discouraged, well, remember the advice about planting a tree. When's the best time to plant a tree? 20 years ago or today? So if you're 50 and you feel like life left you behind, well, get started right now. Better late than never. Better late than never. Don't think about time and age so much. It gets people distracted. When the whole world's distracted, you be focused. You have to trust your own voice your own ideas, your honesty, your vulnerability, and through this you will find your way. You do not have to be fearless. Just don't let fear stop you. Live like this as best you can, and I guarantee you will look back on a life well lived. You are capable of greatness in your profession, and more importantly, in your quality of self. Stay hungry. Stay young at heart. Take those risks. You are going to change the world around you 
in big ways and in small. But see, anybody, if you want to, can go searching for a good plan, pick it, and start working it. And sure enough, as the time passes, as it surely will, five years from now, ten years from now, then you'll be winding up wearing what you want to wear, driving what you want to drive, living where you want to live, become what you want to become. But now is the time to fix the next ten years. And who can? Anybody. You were created to give life and make a difference with your gift somewhere. That's why you came to this place. You want to improve? You want to get better? You want to get on a workout program or a clean diet? You want to start a business? You want to write a book or make a movie or build a house or a computer or put together some mobile application? Where do you start? You start right here. And when do you start? You start right now. You initiate the action aggressively. You go. I'm particularly proud and happy about the young filmmakers, actors, singers, writers, producers that are coming up behind my generation. In particular, Barry Jenkins. Young people understand this young man made 10, 15, 20 short films before he got the opportunity to make moonlight. So never give up. Without commitment, you'll never start. But more importantly, without consistency, you'll never finish. It's not easy. If it was easy, there'd be no Kerry Washington. If it was easy, there'd be no Taraji Henson, P. Henson. <laughs> if it were easy, there'd be no Octavia Spencer. But not only that, if it were easy, there'd be no Viola Davis. If it were easy, there'd be no Michael T. Williamson, no Stephen McKinley Henderson, no Russell Hornsby. If it were easy, there'd be no Denzel Washington. So keep working, keep striving, never give up, fall down seven times, get up eight. Ease is a greater threat to progress than hardship. Ease is a greater threat to progress than hardship. So keep moving, keep growing, keep learning.